I'm Darren Crooks. I'm Curtis York. Welcome to Unofficial Review. Today we're going to talk about Captain America the Winter Soldier. <laughs> Basically the plot of Captain America the Winter Soldier is that after the Avengers, Captain America is now working for S.H.I.E.L.D. full time. Him and Black Widow are a team and they're going on runs for Nick Fury basically. But then things start to get a bit seedy mm -hmm. and it looks like Hydra's raised his ugly head again. Yep. And Steve Rogers is going against S.H.I.E.L.D. Basically but, he's going alone again. Yeah. So. So it's more of an espionage type film yep. than it is a full on superhero movie. And you also get introduced to the Winter Soldier. Yep. Who we're not say who he is. Nah. Because that'll be a spoiler. Keep it a mystery, but if you're watching these videos if, if, if you've seen the you, know movie, you know who it is. You know who it is, yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Comes my editor's fucking <laughs> <separate room. laughs> Yeah. But yeah, that's the basic plot? Yep. Yeah. Basic one. Yeah, basic. You also have Chris Evans as Captain America. You also have Samuel L. Jackson, who's playing Nick Fury in a bigger role in this film than he sort of Quite has done role, in yeah. any of the other ones up until this point. Mm. Even the Avengers, he plays a much bigger role in this. You also have the beautiful Scarlett Johansson, who plays the Black Widow. Yep. Bye bye. <laughs> you have Robert Redford, who plays Alexander Pierce, and he's like. The guy above Nick Fury, basically. Yeah, he's yeah. his boss. You also have Anthony Mackie, who plays... Is it Sam? Yeah. Sam. So what's his name? <laughs> Falcon. Is, Falcon, that's yeah. it. He plays Falcon. Yeah. Sam he's, the Falcon. I don't know, it's a good introduction for him as well. Because yeah. he's a very... Uh, he's like the... Comedy <laughs> relief sometimes. <laughs> he's, he's actually been in a lot of movies recently. In the Pain last like, five, six years, yeah. Good actor though. Oh yeah, good definitely. Actor. That's what I'm saying. He's like the comic relief in the film, but he can mm -hmm. also kick ass. Yeah. Yeah. And his character also has a good background to him as well. Mm -hmm. Cody Smulders is in it again, playing Maria Hill. Agent um, Maria when, Hill. Okay, roughly. Agent. Yeah, so whenever shit goes sideways, she's one of the few people they can count on to be on their side. Yeah. Yeah. You also have Emily Van Camp, who plays Emily. Kate. Kate. <laughs> um, we'll not say anything else about her. No. But she has a bit of a connection to Captain America yep. in a weird way. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you also have Frank Grillo, who plays Brock Rumlow. But then he also goes on to play another character later on in the series. Yeah. Yeah. Don't really want to say much more. Yeah. Because yeah. if you haven't seen... Well, if you, have, if you haven't seen us, where have you been in the last like, <laughs> 10 years? But the way I said is, if you're going to watch our next videos, watch Captain America Winter Soldier first because yeah. we're all going to be holding spoiler, back spoiler, spoiler, in the spoiler. next videos about who people are and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that's Not the basic order. cast. There's no point getting into it because with Marvel films, you could be all day talking about who's yeah, in the films. Definitely. Yeah. You also get a random cameo with the dude who plays Abed from Community in it. We also don't mention Stan Lee's in these, but he always he's in, he's all, in all, them, all yeah. of them, obviously, up to the new ones. Yeah. As a cameo, just. Yeah. So. Maybe a watcher. A bus driver, uh, playing <laughs> golf, something like that. Hair rusher in a yeah. far off galaxy. <laughs> Drinking milk and dying. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, that's the cast. The Russo brothers, and this was actually the first film they'd done for the Marvel, yeah, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah. They go on to do Civil War, Infinity War, and Endgame, and... Maybe another one along the lines. Well, yeah, sure. a couple more, maybe. Yeah. The only other things the Russo brothers, I think, have really done was TV things, and they had a big part in Arrested Development. Did they? Did they also did You, Me, and Dupree. Oh, I remember seeing <laughs> that, yeah. Yeah. Oh, dear. The budget for the movie was $170 million. Come down a, a bit. Yeah. And the opening weekend in the USA got $95 million. So not too bad. No. It's overall gross two hundred and fifty nine million dollars. So not a massive, not quite Iron Man big. Yeah. But it's still. Made Which I'm money surprised because I think this so, is the better film. Yeah. Yeah. So I think Civil War 
is probably it's I think it's better than the first Avenger. <gasps> I do because I like it more that it's based after the events of the Avengers. I also love um, the Russo's brothers direction mm. and the way things are done because every hit that people take in this film saying, yeah. feels real like the sound the sound development all for the scenes are really good and it is more of an espionage type film yeah. and stuff which I find really interesting and just this random journey go on with S.H.I.E.L.D. becoming corrupted and them two who are Captain America and Black Widow sort of doing their own thing on the run trying yeah. to see who's on their side and who isn't and getting Falcon along for the ride and stuff I thought was really cool and getting the band together yeah I feel like Chris Evans acting whenever he's not just being yes sir I'll do this sort of thing yeah. is a lot better as well because he's starting to go against you know what people tell him to do he's going to start thinking for himself not just yeah. be a soldier basically which I thought was really good yeah. and Scott Johansson's back in again she's hot so. yeah <laughs> that's always a great step she's up she's the best part <laughs> <laughs> for me um, I still think first Captain America is better but this one was a brilliant follow up yeah like you can't you can't fault it Really, anywhere. Mm. Like, no, can't, no. can't think of anything that would <laughs> fault it. But I'm not, Captain America wouldn't be my favourite. Yeah. Thor would be definitely my favourite, so it's kind of like biased to say, because I have a favourite. <laughs> but, <laughs> other than that, I'm Bobble. Is that your thoughts on that? Alright, okay. You done? Yeah. Yeah, fair play. <laughs> <laughs> Would you add it to your collection? Already have it in my collection. <laughs> um, what would you read? I would give it a. <sighs> I'm say eight because I'm going eight. I'm not, you know. No, I am. Um, I have to. <laughs> have to go eight. Have to eight. Yeah. 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 It's really annoying because right? most of the Marvel eight, films eight, are sitting eight. in here. Like, I try to be a little bit more diverse and like, but they're just good fucking yeah, movies. You can't fault like you can't fault them. No. Like you literally just have to pick what's your favorite because that yeah. is literally the only fault because they're done amazing. I know. So yeah, that was our simple review on Captain America: Winter Soldier. Join us next time where we will be talking about the first Guardians of the Galaxy. Ooh. I am Groot. See you next time. I am Groot. <laughs> Bye. I am Groot.